Uh, Anita McVeigh there at the school itself. We'll hear more from Anita a little later. Right now, let's talk to Dr. Fiona Pina because she has uh, engaged in, in trauma counselling inside schools and you're head of clinical services for the, the Place to Be organisation. Perhaps you can explain what, what that is and what you do. Um, Place to Be is uh, the UK's leading uh, mental health support for children and young people in schools. But it's not just for the children and young people. We also provide support for teachers and parents, yeah, and in groups and uh, individual counselling. So it's a real wraparound service. And when you hear everything, that all the news that's been emerging from Leeds in the last 24 hours, what strikes you about what people in this school, quite a sizable school, are going to need now after someone so very well loved has been taken in this way? Well, probably a range of things. It, it appears to me that uh, whatever's happening now, they're doing a really, a really good job at, at supporting. But at the moment, there will be a lot of uh, ceremony going on, you know, with people coming to lay flowers, and there, I believe there are church services and people gathering at the gates. So that in itself is very supportive initially. Um, so what you'd need is you need to ensure that you've got some sort of routine going. So the fact that they've opened the school or kept the school open um, and trying to have some sort of order and routine is, is very good for, for children and for the teachers as well. So but you'd also want to have some professional help like counselling, one-to-one counselling. Because you're dealing with young people, it's an age where they like to get support from their peers. So the fact that they can go to school and get support from their peers or even speak to a professional in groups, that would also be uh, very supportive. But I think you primarily also want to think about giving your teachers support because the impact on them is going to be uh, is potentially very big. You know, that, that's very striking, actually, mm. because, of course, we think about the pupils because they yeah. are younger by definition, but there will be people who have sat in the staff room with yeah. Anne Maguire for years and years, years and, and years. years. Yes, so they'll know her extremely well and the... And the the impact on, on that is potentially very, uh, is huge. So I think that, you know, senior staff, and we also have to be aware that we're supporting senior staff um, who are often organising things at times like this, but you need to have provision for professional support for teachers as well. You need to ensure that they are part of understanding what the processes are and what the plans are. Um, and you have to offer them support both low in the school and ensure that they can access support outside the school and within their families because there'll be an impact a uh, sort of ripple out effect on families potentially and we never know how people handle these sorts of things it can depend on what your previous experiences are um, so there'll be a range of the way people are handling it. And, and just a thought about the longer term because we are of course in the immediate aftermath huge shock yeah. But will the ramifications in your experience be felt for, some, for a long time to come? Definitely, and I think that's what we need to remain aware of because, as I said earlier, if you've got that tradition and that ceremony going in the beginning and people are busy with that and feel part of a community that's grieving, it can sometimes be down the line, you know, a week, two weeks. It, it, you can never tell when it's going to pop up, but you need to have that support and that awareness that people will struggle over a long period, some people. Um, and have that support in place. Dr Fiona Pina, thanks very much for being with us. Uh, thanks for your thoughts this afternoon from the place to be. Thank you. Pleasure.